I don't disagree with you about the, but China's failure, the failure of China's policy, but I don't think this was exactly a brilliant move for India's foreign policy. India does this right when we're in the midst of once again uh, having talks with the Iranians where they've been extremely unhelpful with respect to sanctions on the Iranians and where we've got a real problem with North Korea again, and North Korea has just launched a rocket that, uh, that, that fails. So just at this moment, India really needs to test a... a I actually think, think, I think it's in, one... India is not Britain. That's the thing. And it <laughs> keeps wanting to demonstrate that, that, it that, can, that it's not going to be a global lieutenant <laughs> of the United States. So the, there is no treaty there. And I, I mean, I understand your frustration. <laughs> Timing is not helpful from an American point of view. Your point. A moment of, of clarity. I don't think anyone is going to sl go to sleep tonight uh, lying awake thinking, oh my goodness, the Indians now have a new missile that can reach uh, China. Why? Because India is basically a responsible and a very democratic power.